Um, so I'm going to call this evening's meeting, April 6, 2020, to order. If you'd please stand for a salute of the nation's flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. In attendance tonight are Supervisors um, Cindy so Fisher, Tom Cassiola via telephone, Eric Savavik, and Ron Fleer. In addition, Township Manager Don Genuso and Assistant Township Manager Jack King. Due to the coronavirus concerns, our April 6, 2020 meeting will be live streamed. We encourage residents to call the municipal building in advance of the meeting or email the Township Manager with any comments or questions. I have received none. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to read the announcements other than to remind you that the 2020 census is coming, so please don't forget to fill that out. And um, we are still accepting applications for Summer Park help. Application information is available on the township website at www.cecialtownship-pa.gov. Resolutions. Number 082-2020, consider the application for payment one and final work final for the work completed on the Creedmoor Street Bridge emergency repair in the amount of $15,000 to Thornberry Inc. as recommended by the township engineer. Do I have a motion? I'll make that motion. Do I have a second? I'll second it. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Passes, aye. Passes 4-0. 083-2020. Consider the release of the letter of credit in the amount of $15,000 $15,048 being held as the 18-month maintenance bond for phases five and six of the Maple Ridge development, less any reimbursement for professional fees associated with the release. So moved. Do I have a second? A second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Four, zero. 084, 2020. Consider implementing a township, township Facebook page. I'll make that motion. Second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. No. Aye. Right. No. Should, should you have discussion or anything after you make a motion? If you want to. I think it's time that we, we put this back. We had it in place, and I believe that the Facebook page would be a good outreach to keep the uh, residents abreast of what's going on in the township. We have it in place. I think it only needs turned on. That's why we have a web page. Yeah, my concern is and always ha has been that there's a plan in place to update the website, to work towards a Facebook page. There's still a lot of unanswered questions, comments, and things that uh, I just, at this point in time, w all of the information is out on our Facebook page. Our Facebook page? The township. We don't have it up. The township's Facebook You just said Facebook page. I mean, page. I'm sorry, the township's web page. Is a... Uh, is there a reason Frank Frank is on the job or so, or is he able to call in? No, he's not participating in this meeting this evening, so we can't call him just for a single vote. My you... position was that we're getting criticized for not offering information to people. So the information I is, is on the webpage, and quite honestly, there isn't a lot of information out there coming from the township <laughs> right now. All of the information specifically related to what's going on with COVID-19 is coming from the county commissioners, from State Rep Jason Ortite, from Cameron Bartolotta, State Senator Cameron Bartolotta. They're really, other than we close the parks, which we put signs up, there's nothing coming from us. What's the reason that you don't want the page up? I just have a lot of questions about how comments too. would be handled, how, how, who would put out the information, how it would be, the information would be decided, what gets put up there. I mean, what would we put on our Facebook page that's different than what's on our current web page? For one thing, we already voted this down once. I'm not. Are I, you able to address any of those questions that she has? I'm not opposed to it, Jack. We've had this conversation before. I just think that there is a process once our new web page is put up in which whatever's posted to the website would automatically then be posted to Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, whatever we want. And I would like just for that consistency to stay the same. It would be a mirror of the web page. I cannot tell you how many people um, go on our web page on a daily basis. The analytics are just, they're, they're not as accurate that I can tell you specifically every day 
um, how many people are, are, are reading that information. Am I spending a, a significant amount of time on there? I mean, yeah, COVID-19 uh, right now, I'm taking everything from uh, right. Karma's uh, website, Jason's website, uh, the governor's website. You know, I'm pushing it out there just, just so I'm making sure everybody has it. Where a township Facebook page would, would really benefit is we've got two main players right now in the Facebook arena, right, out there. I love Cecil and community, right? So they each have their own unique audiences, right? What this would do is probably fill in that gap uh, between them. Um, aside from- How would it be different than what's currently on our website? Instant notifications, right? Somebody subscribes to uh, or follows Cecil Township uh, Facebook page, they'll get an instant notification on uh, smartphone, uh, whatever, you know, if they're only falling on their desktop, they'd still be notified of an update of something new that's on the website or what you've got, or excuse me, on the Facebook page. Now, it's if, if they actually log on to the website. I have no way of notifying anybody that something's new. I mean, I, I've gone and, and made it. That's why we're getting a new web page. True, true. Um, and there's, there's still um, benefits of having a Facebook page on, uh, along with that as well. Um, yeah, I think we will have one come July. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm not disagreeing with the need for it. I just have questions about, so outside of the hours of nine to five, where you guys are in this building, in this office, yeah. who runs it? Who maintains it? It would be something that, that I mean, I could do it right from my, my smartphone. You could have multiple uh, organizers who who I mean you don't ask those I'm questions no 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 you no, could no. have multiple people no, keeping track of no. things do you ask those questions when the police department has their web so their I'm, Facebook page or so do you ask that question for the parks in, and rec they're in there 24 7 the police work 24 7 and there's somebody that is available to ma manage their Facebook and the page parks 24 and rec 24 7 the parks and rec don't ha didn't have a Facebook page not one that was township sponsored so like so my honest question is, so you would put that information out there and somebody says, Jack King's a jerk, or I called the township building and our, the township manager said, blah, 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 whatever it is, and like totally defames Don Genuso. How do we, because ultimately we are responsible for that, make sure, I can't ask you at midnight to be on Facebook managing the comments. That has to be approved. That message has to be approved before it not would be comments, posted to our site. Not comments. Well, it's the initial message, yes, not commenting. I want to give everything away in a public uh, setting like this. There are ways that I can capture, block, and prevent specific comments, whether it's names, whether it's words, or something along those lines. All right, and I, I'm more than happy to show you how, how that can be done. I'm, I'm aware how it's done. I run not only my own personal Facebook page, one for the Township Supervisor, but also one for um, various groups. I can tell you those filters don't work. Inevitably, somebody figures out a way to get a comment up if they really are upset and frustrated, and that is my concern. If you will, um, if, if you would, um, if potentially we could have a website that, or a Facebook page that was information only, no commenting, you could probably persuade me to do that, but. I'm, I'm unable to take the comment box out. I, it, it's you, you can, it's a setting. Okay. It is a setting where you can make posts and only allow people to like or share it and not comment on it. Okay. So um, you're able to do that? Well, I'm, I mean, maybe it's my, you know, what I, one of the things I don't understand about Facebook, but if I, I'm happy to show you. Yeah. I just, we, we get from, criticized enough already. Yeah, from on personal other experience, sites. we get and not just, that. we Pardon as me? a board. I don't, I don't How? I don't think you're ever going to. Not, not only do you need to limit it, but you need to prevent it. There's a difference between being criticized or having a legitimate concern in what you would call down here and some of the things that happen on social media and I just don't want to put the township in a position where we are opening ourselves up to liability for that. Was uh, Frank made aware that he is allowed to call in? 
What, was he was Frank made aware that Tommy was calling in or that we have the ability to call in? He is. I can call him, but he is literally on a job. Please, yeah, I think I asked Don. He can't to, call in for a single vote when Dawn, he hasn't been posted. Don could call. I mean, was he made aware that he could call in just as Tommy's on the phone? Pushing it so Did you hard. share that with him, Tom? No, I say no, that he can't call in. He, yeah, at this point he can't. Would you agree to a Facebook He's page? He's a supervisor. Did you, you make him aware that he is allowed to call in and participate in the meeting? I didn't out. tell him not to attend. He called. Did you tell him he was able to call and participate? Eric, he called and said that he was stuck at a job at work. I and did you tell him that he could participate by phone? Eric, I said thank yes you. Yes or no? Eric, I said thank you for letting me know. Okay, so he didn't know. He wasn't made aware of it. I didn't know until I showed up this evening that Tom was participating via phone. Well, just as Tom is on the phone, he could have been, he could have called in as well. Could we try to reach him? Or Dawn, could Eric, you try to reach him? the answer to that is no. no. Eric, moving on, to, I'm moving on. Do we, would you consider a face, Facebook page that does not allow commenting? That's what we're doing. That's what we're putting in place. It's an information page. I'm sorry? I'm, I'm happy to. I mean, it, it, that, it's an information page. Comments are not what it's about. You know, it's about reaching as many people as we possibly can. Granted, with a new website, with Civic Plus, there is that ability to target certain areas to get information out and that type of thing. We we can't do that right now. And you know, maybe hindsight had we had had this. In, and I'm, I'm not faulting anybody. Had we had this in place before this uh, situation we're in. You know, could I've gotten more information out? I don't think we're impacted that greatly. I don't think that there's anything that at this point in time is the township's responsibility to disseminate. Do I think it's a good thing that you're putting information that the state rep and the state senator are giving us? Absolutely. Um, do I think that it is the responsibility of the township? No. In fact, I'm concerned that there could be some liability on our part if we put out information that is perceived incorrectly on these are, and these are the things like I've said all along there's a plan in place to get there we just aren't there right now well three of the supervisors had this put on the agenda and the fact that Frank isn't here uh, doesn't make it okay he should at least be informed that he's allowed to call in and participate as Tommy is right Do you now want to start the entire meeting again so that because you didn't bring up this issue at the very beginning of the meeting you're only bringing it up now when you're not getting your way on a vote no it's so the, had yeah, you it brought is. this up yeah, it is. i thought for sure you would go and want to enlighten the public and let them see what's webpage. out there and let them have a facebook page that we had for a week and then you guys shut it down eric had you brought up the fact at the very beginning of the meeting that we needed someone's going to gonna say someone's going to say that did you make frank informed that he was allowed to call in just as tommy you've is calling in a, you've said it a hundred times we've heard you well you're not listening to it do you I've want you. is that a violation did you did you let him know that he could call in eric did you say at the beginning of the meeting i, I didn't call frank and tell i'm him saying it now that's come. all that matters i i didn't call frank and tell him not to attend the meeting tonight you're acting like I called him acting. and told him not to come. That's not it. That is it. Dawn, you could have made him aware or the management, the administration. Dawn didn't know. Frank. Someone could have made him aware that Tommy was calling in. Nobody made me. During the coronavirus, we were, he was permitted to call in I and he could have called in. in Tommy Nobody calling made in. me aware that Tom was calling in. May I call him right now and we can just hold Eric, his face up to the microphone. No. We're moving on. It dies for lack of a majority vote. 085 2020 consider the minutes from monday march 2nd 2020 cecil township board of supervisors regular monthly meeting i'll make a motion i'll second it all those in favor signify by saying aye 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 eric yes or no he said aye passes four zero 086 2020 consider the general fund invoices from march 1st through march 31st 2020 so move. I'll second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Passes. Aye. Four zero. Get wait for this Tom's meeting vote. is adjourned. Aye, I said. Yeah, we heard you. What? Wait a minute.